Hey everyone, Matt here again on the Vinyl Head UK channel. And today I've picked another record from my growing collection of vinyl to share with you guys. Now, we've covered some metal and we've covered some rock. But I also said there's a few other genres of music that I like, I love, and I will share some records from those genres. One of those genres is country. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. If you're not into country, you probably automatically think of stuff like Dolly Parton, some of the more old school country. But, 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 there are some really great young country rock artists out there. One of which I'm a real big fan of. And I have a record sat next to me of theirs that I want to show you guys. It's a great band. I'm a big fan of them. As I say, they are country, but they're quite rock. I've seen them on bills with rock bands. I've seen them at rock festivals. And that band is the Cadillac Free. They are from Nashville. And this here, Country Fuzz, is their fourth studio album. So, as I say, these are a free piece. They are from Nashville. So you have Jaron Johnston, who's vocalist and guitars. You have Calby Ray, who plays the lap guitar, which I've never seen anyone else play in a band before. And then Neil Mason on the drums. And as I say, Country Fuzz, it's their fourth studio album. And it is the first of one of two that they released in 2020. So they were busy boys, I think, during uh, the pandemic, getting into the studio and putting a load of new good music together. So this uh, was released on Big Machine Records. That's a label based out of Nashville who um, does a lot of country and pop artists. So it kind of makes sense for these guys. And yeah, I picked this one up quite early on into collecting vinyl. It wasn't very expensive. It was only about $9.99. And it is a double LP. There's two discs. So it's the first one of those that I own. And it is a gatefold. And it's quite a cool gatefold. It's got loads of pictures of a band when they are on tour, when they are playing live, sort of all sorts of different shots of them, which is quite nice, you know, showing not just the, the live stuff, but sort of behind the scenes, making them feel a bit more sort of, I don't know what the word is, but it's some cool shots anyway. And then each one of these red squares or rectangles is a thanks so a thank you from Kelby, a thank you from Jaron, and a thank you from Neil. Um, Neil's got a lot of thanks on that one. But yeah, so nice gatefold there, showing a load of different pictures. As I say, it is two discs. Um, they're kind of tricky to get out, I find. They get, they get wedged in. Um, so in the paper uh, case there, they, they're quite tight in there as well. But there we go, black vinyl. Quite simple, it's got Country Fuzz and then the Cadillac Free written on there. It's the same on the flip, nothing too out of this world uh, with this record. I pop this one back, I'll show you what else comes with it. So I'm going to put that there for now. And then it's the same on the, the second one, but then also it's quite basic, but we get lyrics. Um, we can see the Cadillac Free, Country Fuzz, flip it over. There's a lot of lyrics because there's a lot of songs. So there's 16 tracks on this record. Um, so there is quite a lot. Hence, I think, why we've got it on two records. So it's split. Um, so we have side A, side B, side C and side D. Um, I think from what I remember on the track, or sorry, from the amount of time, the record length, it's about 75 minutes, maybe a little bit less than that. That might be way over. That sounds a lot. Maybe it wasn't that. It's more than, I think it's the longest record I have. 
I'd have to go away and check that. I think 75 sounds a little bit too long. Um, I'm not going to add up all the minutes and all the seconds here. Don't worry. I'm not going to get my calculator up. You can go and look that for yourselves. There's a bit of homework for you guys. Leave me a comment on how long this record actually is. But yeah, so it's split into four sides. As per normal, I will read what we have on this record for you guys. So side A, we have Bar Round Here, The Jam, Hard Out Here for a Country Boy and Slow Rolling. This is probably my favourite side out of the four. So B, all the makings of a Saturday night, cracking cold ones with the boys, labels, and raise hell. Side C, flipping it onto the second disc, back home, dirt road nights, blue Al Camino, Jack Daniel's heart. And then uh, side D, the, the, the last one, why you gotta go out like that, heat, whiskey and smoke and long after last call. So that is our track listing, split over the four sides. Um, we'll go back and look, so I'll show you the artwork again. So it's a nice shot of the boys. Um, so we have Jaron, Kelby and Neil. So guitar and vocal, as I say, uh, lap guitar and drums. Uh, Jaron has a drink in his hand. That's quite normal for these guys. I've seen them a few times and they like to drink and they like to sing about drinking, amongst other things. Um, but they're cool guys. They are very cool. Um, Jaron does a lot of songwriting for other artists. He has a hell of a lot of songwriting credits to his name. He's a fantastic songwriter. Um, and all of these songs are really good. I have favourites. I said side A is probably uh, my favourite four uh, songs on the records. We have Bar Round Here, The Jam, Hard Out Here for a Country Boy. That is a fantastic track. And then Slow Rolling, which is all about a slow way of life. And the song is just that. It drags, not in a bad way. It, you know, some songs you listen to and they do drag slow. And you think, oh, I just want to skip this. But this one drags, but it suits the song because it's talking about a slow way of life. Um, these guys, so sort of lyric content um, will be about a lot of drinking, about Southern life in general. Um, you know, you only have to look at the, the track list in the titles. Um, all the makings of a Saturday night, cracking cold ones with the boys, Jack Daniel's heart, you know, there's a theme, whiskey and smoke. Uh, Favourite individual track on here is Why You Gotta Go Out Like That, which is uh, the opening track on side D, the last side. That's my probably my favourite track on this. Really fantastic uh, little number there. It's, one of the shorter tracks on this, but a hell of a track. And they're all good sing-alongs, you know. He has a real Nashville Southern drawl vocal style. But it's choruses you can sing along to. And, you know, when you go see them live, it's grab a beer, you can sing along, you can have fun. It's just a good vibe with them. And as I say, they, they are a country band, but they do fit on... Rock Bills, you know, as I say, I've seen them at rock festivals. I've seen them support, uh, I saw them support Blackstone Cherry, uh, which was a great bill, you know, if you like your Southern Rock and whatnot, what a night that was. Um, but it's, it's it's a nice record. I thought it was, well, it's got a little bit of a, you can't really see it so much, but it's got a little bit of a, a dent where it came through. But I initially, I don't know if you can see it very well, it's white mice. I thought it had been packaged bad, but then on further inspection, looking at the artwork properly, I actually realised it was part of how it was meant to look and how it was meant to be. So kind of that worn country look to it, which I like. Um, but when I initially opened it, I was like, oh man, they've packaged this really poorly. But no, it's got a little, like I said, a little dent in that top right corner there. But other than that, we're all good. 
let's pop it down over there. Um, so yeah, fourth record of theirs. How does it sound? It sounds okay. It's nothing massively, if you're looking for, a, you know, all those audio files out there, if you're looking for something sonically and dynamically incredible, you won't find it here. It's, it kind of just sounds like a CD put onto vinyl. Um, I had to turn the bass down a little bit uh, on my first playthrough because the bass was coming through a little bit too much and it was distorting, um, which wasn't overly pleasant. So I had to knock that bass down a little bit. And when I found that level to be a bit better, it wasn't too bad. But yeah, it's it's not massively dynamic compared to some records I have. Um, you know, not a huge sound stage, anything like that. But it's nice to just come home after a day at work or whatever and put on, and it's very easy listening. Um, you don't have to tune in for little intricacies or anything like that that sometimes you get with metal. It's just very easy listening to. Um, and I really like them. Out of the country artists I like, um, these guys are my favourite. Some of the other guys I like, just for a reference, in case you want to go and explore country a little bit more, Zach Brown Band is a good one. Eric Church. Um, Brothers Osborne are another one. They're another band that, or another artist that you could easily fit into rock scenarios, albeit being a country band. Chris Stapleton is one I've listened to recently who I like. But yeah, I mean, it's not all Dolly Parton, don't you worry. There's a lot more to country than that. Um, and yeah, I mean, they've, they've grown and they've their popularity has risen. Uh, I think they've always been relatively well known and popular in the States, back home for them. In the UK, they have grown. The first time I saw them... Um, I went to a gig in Birmingham with my dad and my good friend Andy, who I've mentioned before, to see a, a relatively small British band called the Gravel Tones, who are a two-piece. Think of a lot more musically better white stripes is the best way to describe them. Just guitars and drums and vocals. Um, so anyway, so we went and saw the Gravel Tones and the Cadillac 3 was supporting and uh, I'd heard one of their tracks, I'm Southern, which is quite a well-known track of theirs. And that's the only one I'd heard. And we went, and here's a funny story. Um, the, the Cadillac 3 played and they were great, you know, enjoyed them. Didn't know much about them. They were very small at this point. Um, I remember a guy buying them mid-set uh, around a Guinness and passing them all up a pint of Guinness in the middle of their set. But then they finished and it was only a small venue. Anyone that's from Birmingham, it was at the Institute, one of, us, of the smallest room at the Institute in Birmingham. And... Yeah, they, they'd finish and the Gravel Tones were setting up. Um, you know, it was only a couple of hundreds of a hundred of us there. I went to the loo, I came back. Oh no, sorry, I was I was in the loo and I could hear the Gravel Tones just coming on. I was like, oh my god, get back. And um Jaron the singer was stood in the doorway and I pushed him out of the way because I wanted to get back in the room. To see the gravel tones. That's my claim to fame with these guys. Um, really. But, you know, they're quite good with their fans. Um, I When I got the record, I stuck it up on my Instagram page. And they commented. So they're quite good at reaching out with fans and stuff, which is nice. Um, but, yeah, I've gone on to see them uh, at Arenas. Oh, working up into academy size venues and to arenas. I've seen them at download. Um, but yeah, real good fun time with Cadillac Free. Second of two albums, as I say, in 2020. The, the latest album, not such a fan of. They went kind of funky. 
They put a lot of funk, so imagine country rock funk. Yeah. I think it needs more listens too, but we can cover that at a different stage and talk about that. But it's a nice vinyl to have in my collection. I will be looking at getting more Cadillac free and then showing you guys. Um, if you haven't heard of these guys or, you know, country is a bit of a mystery. It's a good reference point, especially if you're a rock fan. It's a good point to go to and broaden your horizons. I said we were going to cover a little bit more to rock and metal or a bit more from rock and metal as well. Uh, we we'll get some blues going at some point as well. But Cadillac 3, Country Fuzz. Go and get it. Get yourself a beer. Get yourself a whiskey. Sit down. Unwind. Put this on. It might be 75 minutes. It might not be. Who knows? Go find out. That's the best way to find out. Stick it on. All right. Enjoy. I will be back soon with more videos. Until then, take care, enjoy yourselves, listen to vinyl.